Hello everyone, welcome to this session. Today we are going to see how to book a railway ticket using the new interface of IRCTC. So for that we need to go to the website ircTC.co.in click enter. So you land into this page. In this page you need to enter the user ID here, the password here, the captcha here and then click on login. If you need an extra authentication then click on this send OTP which is one time password which will be sent to your registered mobile number. Sometimes this password doesn't reach me due to the high network usage so I don't go for this option. If you need you can go for this option. So what I will do is I will put an user ID here, the password here and the captcha here and click on login. If at all this captcha is not clear to you then you can change the captcha by clicking on this icon. So this changes the captcha. If this is also not visible you can change it again. So now let's put a user ID, password and a captcha and try to log in. Once you log in you will land into this page. So here you will have multiple links and uh, this is the new interface how it looks like. Once we try to book the ticket still we'll see that there is a different changes in the new interface also. So here these two are the uh, advertisements which has nothing to do with our booking of our ticket. Sometimes it uh, I become little carried away with this ad so that's I just informed you that this has nothing to do with our ticket booking. So here you can find the links for cancel ticket list, the refunds, the TDR, the print ticket and this is the ticket history when you have used your old ISCTC interface to book the tickets and the mobile to book the ticket and these are the new tickets uh, what you have booked using this new interface will be here and there is an announcement here also which says that if you have done any transaction before 12th of June then you need to click here and it will redirect to your those older transactions. So since they want to consolidate the data now the ISCTC want to keep the data at a specific uh, phase out the data so they are segregating the data that is what I believe ok. So now our main focus is how to book a ticket using this. So here you can see that there are multiple new options have been available like uh, uh, booking a hotel, booking a retiring room and all. I am not covering all this in the video. Uh, we are focusing on booking a ticket only. If you need any information about this, please try yourself or put a uh, comment on the below section. I will try to create a video for the same. So now to, kick, to do a ticket booking, we have two options either plan my journey or the quick book. Quick book is specific for the people who want to book the ticket in a specific train and that number is known to them. So they can directly book the train, put the train number here and book the ticket. For the people who are not aware of the number of trains which are going uh, between two stations, this is the best way which is plan my journey which is mostly used. So for an example I am taking we are travelling from Bangalore to Chennai. So I will try to put the station name Bangalore B-A-N-G-A-L-O-R-E. So I can see that there are three stations coming up which is BNC which is Cantonment. This is Bangalore East and this is City Junction. So I will click on City Junction and I want to travel till Chennai. So I will click on Chennai and I see lot of options are coming. I want to travel till Chennai Central so I will click on this. Then I choose the date. So let's say 23rd of January then this is e-ticket or i-ticket as we know already e-ticket is the internet ticket that you can take a printout or you can get an SMS to your mobile and travel. i-ticket is something that is a hard copy of a ticket which is normally we got when we go to the uh, railway counters. So those tickets also you can book from here but that those requires minimum 3 days from the departure by train because once you book the ticket they have to uh, post the ticket or the courier the ticket to you so it will take time. So the best way to book a ticket and travel is e-ticket because you can book the ticket you need not to take a printout also you can just carry with uh, you can carry with your phone which has the SMS and travel and also if you want to cancel the ticket you need not to visit the counter again you can cancel from your home itself. So e-ticket is the best way to go. So now click on submit button. Once I click on this I see a list of trains here and you can see that there are a uh, lot of flexibility here based on what you require. So some things are like let's say 
here there are different trains that it is displaying it showing so categories of trains it shows satabdis it shows special trains everything it shows if you don't want to travel in satabdis because of high fare you can just uncheck this button and some of the trains which come under special cat, uh, satabdi category goes off if you don't want to travel in special train you can again click on this and the special train if at all something is that that will also go off okay to get it back again you can click on this and it will come back so this is like a uh, flexibility to the people given whichever train they want to see which was not there before and here you can see that below that we have from stations so if you remember when we are booking this from station we have chosen the starting point as bangalore which is sbc uh, but when we see here the list it's it lists all the train which are there like train starting from yasvanpur train starting from bangalore train starting from uh, cantonment everything is displaced uh, these are the different stations of bangalore so it doesn't bother about uh, which station you have chosen rather it displays all the stations from bangalore from where the trains are starting so if you are very specific on boarding a train which is only starting from bangalore city junction so you can just uncheck this buttons so that you can get the actual list of the trains which are starting only from city junction not from any other place of bangalore so that is another option to you so these are kind of the flexibilities which is being given in this new interface and there are few more to also come let's see here this is the selected quota you can book in general quota premium tatkal quota ladies quota and tatkal quota so i think most of us will be aware about general ladies and tatkal this premium tatkal quota is a new tatkal quota which is being introduced where the 50% of the ticket goes as a premium tatkal quota and it will be sold at a higher prices so if you are checking a ticket for tatkal quota and it is not available and you have to travel urgently please do click on premium tatkal also also check the availability there you might get a ticket there as well so you can check here clicking on tatkal click on sleeper so you can see the availability status here now it says that booking is not allowed as the date date given is outside the advance reservation period tatkal is available only one day in advance today is 18th of january i am looking at a ticket on 23rd of january so i cannot book tatkal for 23rd from today today i can book either for 19th or 23rd tatkal if you want to book i need to wait till 22nd that's why it is not displaying but the point is if you want to book a tatkal ticket and you have to travel you have an urgency so when you are checking the tatkal quota if under that quota tickets are not available please check on the premium tatkal it might be the tickets are little costly but you will get a ticket uh, okay let's go back to the general category here if i want to see what is the status of this train then i can just click on this slipper and you see that first thing to notice is you get remaining next 6 days information here since this is a weekly train so you can see that it comes in next 6 weeks detail you can get if it's a daily train you can see the daily detail also and the fare details also you get here it is 210 plus 20 rupees which is like 230 rupees so this is also you get here and one more thing to check here is let's say i want to check here uh, i am getting the waiting list of 53 i want to check is there another train which has a lesser waiting list and i expect might be the lalbag express which have a lesser waiting list i click on this and i see that oh available is 204 and here i can go back again and check okay on the next date it is available 16 so what i mean is here you can compare the trains availability side by side by using this tabs previously this facility was not there now if i want to check another train let's say uh, brindaban express i can click here and it opens another tab so you can check the availability of brindaban express uh, then uh, this train also and this train also so all the trains together you can always check the availability side by side this is one more benefit and flexibility given in the new interface one more thing here is you can look at this refresh button it will be very helpful when you are booking a tatkal ticket because normally we log in for tatkal ticket starts at 10 o'clock so we log in at nearly 9:50 and keep waiting for the 
tatkal quota to open so in that case what you can do is you can keep using this refresh button so that this quota starts getting updated if the time happens let's say i want to check exactly at 10 o'clock what is the status and right now start booking at 10 o'clock i exactly at 10 o'clock i can just click on this refresh instead of loading the whole page or searching for again another train i can just say refresh and it will get me the train status the ticket status and uh, sorry the seat status and i can directly book and go this is one more flexibility here okay let's go ahead with the ticket booking let's say i want to book the ticket here so i click on book now uh, two things to mark here the the fare is 230 rupees here uh, just keep in mind i'll tell you how you get a con concession on this fare for senior citizens and now there is a pop up also it says that you have searched from bangalore to that is sbc to chennai but you are booking a train which is from yashwantpur to madras or chennai so this is just an uh, what do you say uh, a pop up to tell you that if you are doing some mistake but if you are sure that yeah i can travel in a train which is going from yashwantpur to chennai also it's okay so say okay so here in the next page you can check all your details that which is the train number what is the date of journey what is the class and from which station to which station you want to travel what is the quota everything you can check here and then your boarding station you can decide let's say the train travels from yashwantpur to chennai but you want to board at a different station so you can change the station here also click on this schedule you can see that this train stops at which places and what time also so that it is easier for you to choose let's say the train starts from yashwantpur but you want to board the train from kerpuram so you can choose kerpuram here and you can also check that kerpuram timing is it will reach kerpuram around 6 8 and start at 6 10 so you need to be really very punctual here and you need to board the train as soon as it comes in so these are the little improvements but which are like very handy for us while booking a ticket now here you can enter the passenger name let's say i say passenger a and i enter the age as 35 and the gender as male and the birth preference i provide then you can see that the senior citizen tab is not enabled but check here now let's say i change the age to 65 so as soon as i do that this is enabled now so if you want you are a senior citizen and you want to avail the concession then please do click on this without this you will not be given the concession if by mistake you have written your date but you have not checked on this radio button so you will be never given a concession even if you are a senior citizen so if you are a senior citizen make sure you click on this radio button now i am going ahead with the same date so that i can check what is the concession i am getting whether i am getting or not so ticket price was 230 rupees if you remember so now this is a same you can go for a particular allotment if you want that i want a particularly a lower berth and things like that you can do that and here you have a prefer coach id also if you want a ticket in a specific coach also you can go for that but when you do that when you do this you check this note booking shall be done in the prs in the coach given by the user if the seats are available otherwise the passenger is allocated an another coach so this is just a preference i will not go for this then uh, here you can enter your mobile number next is you need to give your captcha so same case again if this captcha is not visible you can change the captcha again and say okay this is visible so i'll enter this captcha okay if this is not also visible i can go next p e y 6 h k and then click on next so it again reminds you that you have chosen a senior citizen concession so please carry a proof of your age while traveling uh, to produce on demand okay so you need to carry the proof of your age without that also you will be charged an extra fare or the fine fare so please do make sure that when you are saying that you are a senior citizen while booking the ticket online please do carry the supporting document as far as i know pan card and voter id are acceptable supporting documents there are other documents also but i am not sure on that see okay now you can before you go for the booking you can check all your details again here that train name uh, the train starts from yashwantpur to chennai but you want to board from kerpuram to chennai 
and you are booking in a sleeper class and this is your name gender and your age and here if you see that the actual price was 230 rupees but because of senior citizen the discount has been given and this comes to 145 rupees so you actually got a this uh, concession here because of senior citizenship age okay now next thing is that you need to pay so you can choose net banking or different payment gateways to pay so once you click on this you can choose a particular bank and it will show you how much transaction it will take per transaction how much amount and you can click on make payment and you will be redirected to your bank's website there you need to enter your username password and make the payment once you make the payment wait there it will come back to this IRCTC page again and your ticket will be booked so if you you came back to the page but you don't see the ticket don't get panic that's okay you can go to home page and you can go to this booked ticket history if you click on this your ticket will be displayed here I have not booked any ticket so it is not displaying otherwise it will display the ticket here so that is the whole procedure on how to book the ticket on this new platform and what are the different flexibilities available on this so that is that is the all different flexibility which is available i uh, hope this is informative for you please do subscribe for more useful videos put your comments your suggestion or anything else you need on the on other fronts which will help you i will try to prepare video on the same thank you for watching see you next time